Good morning, BookTube. It's Thea, and it is Tis the Seasonathon, day one. It's just about 8 o'clock or so. I'm um, just about getting kind of getting up and get moving. I am so excited for this readathon. I've been itching to do another readathon since Spookathon, and I have like all holiday Christmassy reads, and I am so excited that it is finally December. It is finally cold. It's Christmas time. What better way to start the month off than with a holiday themed readathon? So I am so excited that it's finally here. Um, I didn't stay up till midnight just because I am the type of person who I need a full night's sleep or I cannot function. And I'm in training at a new job and it just, it's not something that I can justify going in like exhausted. So I did go to sleep. I'm up. I'm pumped. I'm ready for the readathon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with Kiss Me in New York by Katherine Ryder. This is the shortest book on my TBR. It's like 185 pages or so. So it's definitely something that won't take very long to get through just because it is so short. And I do have this as an audiobook as well. So I can kind of switch back and forth between the two. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't seen my TBR, basically this follows two people who get stuck in JFK on Christmas Eve. One is flying home to England after a breakup and our other character is in JFK. He was there to surprise his girlfriend when she dumped him. So it's about them getting over their exes and being stuck in the airport on, New on Christmas Eve in New York City. So um, this just kind of sounded like the perfect kind of way to start off December and because um, now it's starting to get cold and it has everything that I love. It has two people falling in love, Christmas and New York City. That is all I needed. Um, I am super excited to dive into this, um, but I'm gonna go shower and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. And so it's Christmas. Hear the fest of music in the air. Smiling faces everywhere They stop and stare Another Christmas Time to celebrate with those you love Time to count your blessings from above season-a-thon day two. Um, I'm a terrible vlogger and I did not really pop in with like how day one's reading went. Um, I did end up reading about 38 pages in Kiss Me in New York by Katherine Ryder. That's all of my reading. It was not a very productive Monday, um, but I have no one to blame but myself because I got home and watched two episodes of Outlander instead of reading. <laughs> um, but I just, I don't know, I was, I really, I don't know, I don't know. I have no excuse for it. I, yep, no excuse. Um, it's about seven o'clock or so and I don't have to really get ready for work for another um, half hour or so, so I figured I was going to buckle down and I'm going to try to read at least another couple chapters um, to at least 
try to get a book read today. Um, I don't know what my plan is to for when I'm done with Kids Me New York. I think I might hop into, I'm not sure what I'm going to read after that. And I don't really know. <sighs> I don't really know what the night is going to look like. It's Tuesday, usually my boyfriend and I go to a movie because it's, you know, it's discount night on Tuesdays. So we will probably go to a movie, so I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done tonight. Um, I'm just going to try to read a little bit at work, but um, I am going to sign off here so that I can go ahead and dive into a couple chapters of Kiss Me in New York. Uh, everyone had a great Monday. Um, happy Tuesday. Happy reading. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I am out of the shower, um, just getting ready to leave for work, but I wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I ended up reading about 18 pages or so in Kiss Me in New York. So I am up to chapter four, page 57. Um, I'm still enjoying this. It's still kind of cute and fluffy kind of winter contemporary to head off to work, but I really quickly wanted to pop in and let you guys know my progress, but um, have a great day. Bye. Hey you guys, it's Theo with another update. Uh, it's about 2.45 or so. I just got home. I had a short shift, so I'm going to take advantage of being home a little early and um, get some editing done. And uh, there is a sprint happening at 5 o'clock, so... Oh, did you want some water? You want some water? Hold on. So, um, there is a sprint happening about 5 o'clock or so my time, and I'm going to try to go ahead and participate for a little bit since I will have be since I will be home, um, and I can hopefully, I'm going to try really, really hard to get uh, Kiss Me in New York done before my movie tonight. I definitely think I can do it. On my breaks today and kind of when we weren't in my downtime, I think I read like 20 pages or so, so I'm almost at 100 pages, um, so I've got like... 80 pages left that I think I can get done today and tonight. Like, I think I can get done tonight. Um, but... What are you doing? What are you doing? And so, I just wanted to pop in and give you guys an update. But I hope everyone is having a great Tuesday. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys later tonight. Bye! Have a happy Christmas and New Year Have a very merry Christmas Christmas time is here Have a happy Christmas and New Year Have a happy Christmas and New Year Have a happy Christmas and New So it's Christmas Hear the fest of music in the air See the smiling faces everywhere They stop and stare Another Christmas Time to sell day two of Tis Season of Fun. I have finally finished Kiss Me in New York by Catherine Ryder. Um, I am gonna give it three and a half stars. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really cute, um, fluffy, kind of innocent winter read, but I uh, didn't really have a lot like of substance or like a really big plot. Um, so I'm gonna give it three and a half stars, um, but today was definitely much more successful than yesterday. I so I ended up reading about 150 pages or so in Kiss Me New York, but I'm really happy with today's progress. Um, I am getting ready to head to bed, but I hope everyone had a great Tuesday. Uh, happy reading, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.